All right, uh, we'll get started here. This is uh, Scrappy, and this is going to be a, another tutorial video um, using WordPress and using uh, the Karma theme. Okay, um, I am hosting with HostGator, and I have WordPress installed. This is the back end of my website. I don't like using the stock templates. Um, I prefer purchasing one. I pur purchased the Karma theme from Theme Forest. There's hundreds and hundreds of templates. Uh, this is just the one I'm using on this website. So it'll kind of be geared towards that and some of the these big boxes uh, that they have um, to put images in, a jQuery slider um, and some other, and also how to resize your images so that they fit in there properly. Um, and I'm going to use um, I'll show you in a minute, but I'm going to use a free open source program called GIMP. It does the same thing uh, as Photoshop, except you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It's open source and it's free. So, that said, uh, I've got two tabs open, the back of my website here, uh, back into my website, and then my actual website. Um, if you do want to, uh, HostGator is a really good place to host your website. I buy my domain names at GoDaddy and I host uh, with uh, this jQuery slider. These images have to be a really specific size to get them in there and it's kind of difficult. You got some photos work and some it stretches and uh, so you kind of got to take different photo angles and you got to crop them different and you got to just play around um, to get them so that they don't get stretched when you um, change the pixel size and I'll show you another uh, one here this isn't a jQuery slider but it's the stock um, full width this is actually a, a full width banner for a page with a sidebar um, and we can add that in short code I'll show you how to do that but then the main thing is we got to get these images to fit in here properly and I'm going to show you how to do that so we'll go to the back end of our website I'm going to go into Pages. I'm going to go into, uh, we're actually going to work on my store page today. Um, let's just go into the store. What I want to do is put one of these big picture banners up here at the top of my store. I've made an image for it, um, and then I just need to get it, uh, get it put in there. So go into the back end of my website here, and I'm going to go to my store page. Right up there, I'm going to edit it. And as you can see, I have this page with the sidebar. Um, it's not a full width page. I've shown in, in, in my other tutorial videos how to add sidebars. And I'm going to do another video eventually on widgets and things like that. But it shows you how to add sidebars and so forth. But right up here, I've already got content in here. You saw my store and all. I just want to add up here at top, I want to add a banner. I'll put my cursor there. I'm going to go to the Karma shortcode button right there. And I'm going to find, go on down here to uh, uh, individual image frames. And here you can see full width. That's full width page banner. That wouldn't fit. It would actually override my sidebar. So I want to go down here. Um, to sidebar or side nav, same thing. Um, they take up the same space. And I want to put banner, you can do a one half. I want to put a full banner. Do that. I'm going to insert my short code. And then we have to put in the image. Okay. Now, to get the image the right size, I'm going to close out of this real quick. And I'm actually going to, uh, I've already, like I said, you just have to make your image. Um, and I'm just using iPhoto. And I've already made an image in there and I've cropped it um, right here. It's going to be for my support gear shop. So I've cropped it kind of where I need it. I left a little black. You just got to get good at how much color to leave in the background. You make your image wherever you want it. We won't get into that in this video, but um, I didn't want to crop right on this image because I want a little black around it. It'll look cool in that frame. So. Crop it. You can crop it in GIMP too. And this is GIMP. And you can just go to GIMP.com 
and uh, and get this. Um, it's photo, like I said, it does everything pretty much Photoshop does, except you don't have to. Oops, if you just go to GIMP, it, it works for PC. It's GIMP.org, and there's downloads. It works for PC or Mac. I use a Mac, so I downloaded it for that. But here's where you get your free download. It's an absolute awesome product. So I would highly suggest getting that. All right, so we've got GIMP open. This is our little GIMP sidebar. You can either file and you can open your image. I'm just gonna take this over here and I'm gonna drag my image from iPhoto that I wanna edit right into GIMP. I'm gonna close iPhoto down. All right, and you can move your sidebars wherever you want. Um, so that's in there now in, in GIMP and what we need to do is rescale this image because if we put this image directly in like it is, it's not gonna fit in that box and it's gonna get cut off. Um, go to club here to that the same one we're going to be using this banner but this the image will get cut off and the whole wording won't be up there and it, it'll just it'll be a mess and uh, be real frustrating so we're gonna what we need to do is change it and to fit in the jQuery slider in uh, karma theme um, or to fit in those boxes um, we need to change the pixels on this and there's a real specific pixels you might want to write this down I've got it here it is 840 by 270 pixels that is exactly what it needs to be to fit in there so you might want to write that down somewhere um, and we'll just take this in GIMP and we'll just go up here to image and we'll go to scale image okay we've got this little box over here I'll bring it up front and if you just go in here and put 840, 840 by 270 and we tab over, it's going to do the automatic thing. It's trying to get it proportional. Um, what we need to do to fix that, see these chains over here, is we need to unlock them so they're separated now. That will give me the ability to stretch the image the way I want and it won't do it proportionally. Okay, so it's 840 by 270 it's pixels over here. Okay, I'm just going to scale it. I'm actually going to go in here real quick and get rid of this image. All right, it's my downloads. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and scale it. And you can see it scales it down. We go to file, we want to export it. And you can export it as a PNG or a JPEG. Um, any any of the common picture file types I'll just do it as a PNG that'll work um, right here where I want to put it I want to put it in my downloads folder and I'm I gotta name it up here I'll just name it gear shop all right and we'll export it don't worry about any of these settings it's gonna ask you a bunch of stuff that's <clears throat> stuff we won't be using right now just export it there we go we'll minimize GIMP and in my downloads folder where I sent it to now is my scaled image right here okay that's the image I'm gonna need for my website so we'll go back in and uh, open up Safari here and we'll go to the shop the store so we're on the right page We'll go into the back end, and as you can see, there's no banner up there. I want it right up here. Okay, go into the back end here, and I've already added my short code I showed you, and that's the frame. We just need that image now. So modern, it's a modern, it's image path here, right in between the parentheses, and we need to add media, and I need to find the file path for my picture. And as you can see, I already have it uploaded here. Um, but you can upload your file or go, go to your media library. We'll just upload it. Even though I already have it up. And we'll choose. Alrighty. And then you can see the file path down here, the HTTP. This is where that 
now uh, that image lives on my website so it's actually got a URL address I need to copy that highlight it and copy the whole thing okay we'll just close this down and now like I say right in between the image path right in between the parentheses there we'll paste it okay and that is an update now and now we're gonna have a banner and that image is the right size that 840 by 270 pixels go to my web page we'll refresh and you're gonna see a, a beautiful banner up here with my logo and you can see I left some black around the outside I kinda like how that looks I could have cropped it a little bit more and you know like I say you just have to play with it and see how images fit in there and so forth so um, I actually this is spacings off just a little bit I might redo that we'll see but anyways that is how you resize an image that is how you get it into your website so um, hope you liked the video um, if you did please uh, please leave uh, likes and uh, comments I've got a whole bunch of other um, WordPress karma theme related videos so if you guys like them and comment it motivates me to make more um, these are a lot of things I had to learn on my own and hopefully by getting these videos out there um, it will help other people I just kind of do the videos as I'm doing stuff and as I figure stuff out so alright we'll catch you on the next one